Hey everyone, it's Rodov, and today we're going to be learning about object-oriented programming. So let's get started. So right here is the base plate, and in the properties panel, you have a bunch of properties, as I, I, as I taught you guys in the first or second video. Uh, so if we quickly go to view, and uh, right here you can enable explorer and properties, make sure you have them enabled. And from there you can go to properties, while you have your base plate selected. And uh, I'm just going to use that on the spawn location. And this decal can be deleted. It's basically just the image on top. And uh, if you put a decal on top of a uh, part, you can put like an image on the part. That's basically what it is. So this spawn location has a bunch of properties. First is uh, brick color. I'm just going to go over these briefly because you guys already know what they are. So as you can see, brick color kind of just sets a color. Uh, color right here is more advanced. Uh, and then you have like things like material, right? Uh, so basically, these are all properties. We have transparency as well. So I could just set the transparency. Let's see base plate. Spawn location, transparency. Let me just reset the base plate real quick. So spawn location, transparency, and I could drag it up. So as you can see, 0.5, halfway see-through, and 1, it's fully see-through, 0, it's opaque. So uh, these are all properties. And basically, in really simple terms, scripting is just changing these properties uh, at different times. So uh, obviously there's a lot more to scripting, but that is a basic uh, way to kind of explain what scripting does. So uh, to change the uh, transparency for this base plate, we are going to insert a script and we're going to use the script to uh, change it. So let's just call this, uh, I'm just not even going to name it because I don't know what to name it right now. But uh, what we can do is first of all define the base plate. So uh, we're going to start with object oriented programming, which is the title of this video. So uh, basically, if I wanted to get the base plate in the script, because the script needs to change the base plates, or not the base plate, the spawn locations, uh, transparency. And this might be a, a bit confusing because of that icon, so I'm just going to insert a part. So, uh, yeah. And this part, uh, we're going to change the transparency of it, as you can see, like that. So, inside our script, what we can do is we can define the part. So, where is the part? Well, it's parented to the workspace, okay? So this texture is a child of the base plate because it's like under. Now it's a child of terrain, and now it's a child of workspace. Uh, workspace is the parent of the texture, and now the parent of the texture is the base plate. So I hope you guys understand how parents and children work. Uh, I don't know if I explained that yet, but that's how they do, and they are really important. So uh, please make sure you understand. Uh, so right here is the part, and its parent is workspace. So say we wanted to change this part's transparency. Uh, we could uh, first get the part, so game, so game basically is the full game, and say we wanted to reference something inside that game, so game.workspace, because the whole game, okay, all of this, all of these are children of the game, and then you could type game.workspace to get in here, so game.workspace, and then now we look for another child, so it could be camera, terrain, base plate, or part, it cannot be textured because uh, it's not texture is not a child of workspace it's a child of base plate if I wanted to get this texture I would do game dot workspace dot base plate dot texture I can't just do workspace dot texture because texture is not under workspace it is now so I could do game dot workspace dot texture but the texture was under base plate so we're gonna keep it as a child of base plate uh, so we need this part so we're just gonna do game dot workspace dot part and uh, now we have the part so this part has a lot of properties and one of those is uh, transparency, and we're just going to quickly look at the name. So this name property is just the name of the part. I can call it part 1 if I want to. I can call it like a uh, block if I want to. So uh, now part won't work. We need to type block because the name has changed. And uh, to get one of these properties is, well, not is, but to get one of the properties, what you do is just dot and then the property name. So, or not exactly the property name, whatever the property is called. So dot name is a property, okay? Uh, dot transparency is another property as you can see so if I were to set this transparency to a string so like this is a string it wouldn't work and uh, it'll throw you an error uh, looks like the error wasn't even thrown so let's see what happened block transparency and nothing really happened so uh, we need to set it to a number so say I wanted to set it to uh, halfway through so 0 0.5 and as you can see it set the transparency to 0 0.5 uh, let's go to game and then dot workspace and then dot block and as you can see transparency is 0 0.5 so now say we wanted to change the name so uh, we obviously just go block dot name and then in here we just we can just type uh you know you, you can't just type the name like this you got to put it in a string value so we can just type the name 
hit play, and as you can see, the name has been changed. Hey everyone, so I was just editing, editing the video, and I decided I wanted to throw one more thing in there, so quickly I'm just going to insert a part and show you guys how to change the material with a script. So, uh, as you can see, material is right here, and you can change, uh, you know, things uh, in the material, so concrete and stuff, so... Let's just go back and in here I'm just going to quickly create a script and then you guys already know this game dot workspace dot part uh, dot part and then now to change the material you would do dot material and then here and then you could set it to something so you can just go here to the list and then pick something out so say I wanted to do foil uh, obviously I can't I have to type it exactly how it is so it's case sensitive so I can't just type foil with a lowercase f invalid value foil so obviously you need to make it uh, exactly what it is, so foil, like that. And it's going to work, as you can see it changed to foil. So uh, that's basically object oriented programming. There's a lot of things, so let's quickly change the uh, brick color. So uh, game, so first the full game. Then we do dot workspace to go from the whole game into the workspace. And then if we wanted to go to the block, we do game dot workspace and then another child, so inside the workspace, block. Obviously, you cannot do workspace.texture because you have to do workspace.baseplate.texture. So, game.workspace.block. Like dot block like that. And then we can change any of the properties. So, we're going to change the brick color. Uh, and obviously, you, you can not you can do this, but it's better to just type brick color.new or just brick color. Dot and then whatever you like. So, I'm just going to do red. So basically, uh, brick color is a type of value. So we've looked at integers, we've looked at strings, we've looked at uh, booleans. So integers, uh, strings, and uh, booleans, or false or true. False or true is a boolean. So uh, those are types of values. But another type is brick color. So basically, just to change the brick color, you type uh, brick color equals brick color dot red. I don't know if this will work because uh, I usually do it in a different way. But yeah, it does work and that's basically a lot simpler way to set the brick color. So you can be brick color dot uh, anything you'd like. So dark gray. Uh, you gotta have the parentheses there as far as I know. Yep. You do need to have the parentheses there. So just make sure you have those there. Don't worry about why they're there yet. Just have them there. And as you can see, it changed the color. Uh, that's basically all there is. Make sure you like the video. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Rodev. Peace.